Hello you guys, welcome to All Things Jennifer. Today, I have a great video for you guys and it is in this book. If you guys want to see what I'm talking about that is in this book, then please keep watching. So you guys, first of all, I wanna say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, be safe you guys. And also, I wanna say thank you to all my new subscribers and also my old subscribers. So you guys, if you don't know, we do business, fashion, all things Jennifer, you won't know what that is unless you've been watching my videos and everything Crocs. When we go into Croc Rehab, never. I have more videos on Crocs, stay tuned um, for that. So this is, by the title, you guys already know what it is. So we're not gonna get into that. We're just gonna get um, to talking about what the title is meant for. So as you guys know, um, it's good to write down your notes. Uh, I have this red book right here. Red is my favorite color. That's why I chose this book. And all I did was put a business card on the front and I uh purchased this book from Hobby Lobby for I think like four dollars and some odd cent. It was 50% off. And what I love about this book is the type of paper. It's like painting paper. Um it's in that section actually. And the reason why I love that because it don't have any lines so you can do whatever you like on this paper. You can make it messy, whatever it don't need to it doesn't need to be um picture perfect because it's for you to read. So, but we're going to get into this video, but I had to show you guys what I have. I'm trying to get to the page now, but it will be 10 uh, what you will need to start your crop business. Okay, you guys. So you, these are 10 items that I purchased that you must have. We're not getting into the cars and all that, the business cars and all that. We're going to get into the necessities, the must haves. Okay. So if you'll see me looking down, excuse me, but of course, I don't want to be sitting here thinking, so I wrote them down for you guys, try to be organized, so I'll be looking down. Excuse me, I apologize, okay? So the first one would be glue and backings. So if you do not know or you have no clue what type of glue, then you have not been watching my YouTube channel because I have said it several times. I also have shown it. I get asked, comment after comment after comment. First, watch the videos and you will see what glue I use, okay? Backings are the black back that are able to stick onto the crop, okay? Or they come in clear as well. So it's two color, clear or black. Um, black. It's up to you on which color you want to use. Maybe you have a white shoe. You don't want that black to show. So you'll put a clear back. That's the only difference. Number two. You guys, this has been, I'll say my top, out of my top three or top five, the most asked question, which is the iron. It's a sandpaper like iron. I have listed in my last video and you guys, I'm going to try my best to link it in this video as well. But it's the iron. It sands down the shoe. You definitely going to need it. Um, if you guys don't know, um, Crocs are like rubber. So to adhere with the glue, you will need to sand your croc down. Would you need to strip it all the way down? No, some people do that, but you don't need to do all that. Not if you know what you're doing. You don't need to do all that. So, I would say the iron. I call it an iron because that's what how it's shaped. It's yellow and it looks like an iron. Um, the next thing is charms. You would definitely need gibbets, luxury, whatever it is that you choose to. First, I would try it out on maybe a family member or a best friend or a friend or anything like that. I'll try to make them some customized shoes and then go from there and see if you got the gist of it. Make sure the hold is well. Make sure, do, do not send out a croc. You do it today and send it out tomorrow. Don't do it. You need the glue to adhere to the crocs. I say 24 hours. After that 24 hours, everything should be good to go and just ship it out, okay? Um... The fourth thing would be Crocs. Of course, you need the product. You need the Croc to put it on there. If you don't want to go that route, you want to go the cheaper route, you can. 
just for practice. Um, I know there's a lot of people selling fake Crocs. A lot of people selling, um, I don't forget the name of them, but they look like Crocs. They're not Crocs. They sell those as well. Um, but me personally, I only sell Crocs. Um, shoes when it comes to the shoes. Okay, number five would be chains. You're definitely going to need some chains. Chains jazz it up. It's, it takes it to a whole new level. You want to be set set aside from everybody else. You want to be a little bit different. Add to some chains. You can add the chains on top of the shoe, on the front of the shoe, around the shoe. That's up to you, okay? Number six would be gloves. You definitely going to need some gloves. Hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts. The glue get messy. I'm sorry. Um, who wants to be dealing with glue? Um, stopping and starting. Just use some good um glue. I mean, some good um gloves to wear to protect your hands and also wear a mask. Some of the glues are very harsh. Um, you know, you want to protect yourself. And make sure you're good as well as, you know, getting the shoe together, okay? Um, number seven would be binder clip holder. So, it's like something that pinches. It's a clip holder. I will link it as well. And all it does, what you use number seven for is you pressing down on something to give it, you know, a hold, and you can press it down for eight hours, 12 hours. It's up to you. You put a, put a patch on. You want to use that binder clip to press onto there. It's going to make it stay where it don't fall off. It don't move and shift and do all that jazz. Okay. Now, any type of clip. Um, but I'm going to link what I will use or what I use. Okay. Um, number nine is rhinestones. You're definitely going to need to buy you some rhinestones. Why? Because nine times out of ten, your client is going to want some rhinestones on their crocs. So definitely add some rhinestones. But you want to make sure you ask them before you put them on there. Maybe they don't want all that, you know. But with my clients, nine times out of ten, they want rhinestones, okay? Um, number ten is a popular one. It's very popular, you guys, and it's ribbon and patches. That is hands down six twenty third most popular item added onto a shoe besides rhinestone, of course. Um, is ribbon and patches, and also chain um as well. So ribbons and um, patches, you want to play around a little bit, get the color or thing that you got together. And you go from there. Um, patches, you can go with whatever theme it is. And you go from there as well, okay? So, these items you will need, okay? A tip, you guys, which we have added on to 623rd. If you spend $100 or more, is signature confirmation. Why is that? This is my tip, you guys. It's between 3 to $4 added on to um, an order. It makes sure that somebody son for that item. You don't want to spend a hundred and some dollars or a hundred dollars on Crocs, and they don't get the item, or they may, you know, say they didn't get it and they actually get got it. You know, you know for a fact you shipped it out. This is some six twenty third is doing, um, and I suggest if you're having a business as well, you add it to your business. It's only three or four dollars. Is better than a customer calling you, emailing you, texting you, whatever the method they use and say, ma'am, sir, I did not get my shoes. You, that's like a hassle. That's a headache. So you, especially during the holiday season, season it's a must. But $100 or more, 623rd, and I pay for that. You should want to pay for that for your customer. Not your customer pay for. It's only 3 or $4, you guys. So, you guys, that what you will need to start your custom crop business. If you guys got any more um, questions or concerns, let me know. Also, if you have a video you would like for me to do, please put it in the comment section. Um, I do have another video coming up. Next week is about one of these we're going to talk about that next, but it's something that I have been waiting for that I have been wanting for a long, long time. But, 
you know, you think about other stuff. So that take pride over, you know, maybe something you forgot that you wanted and you just didn't get it, you know, whatever the case may be. You get busy with life, whatever. So finally, you guys, I bit the bullet um, and got them. I will have them on my channel next week. Uh, they're supposed to be here on Tuesday. So I think that video will go up on Wednesday. Okay, you guys. I thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a awesome, awesome Christmas. It's not all about what you're getting or what you can give. It's all about love, being happy, thankful, humble, and grateful. That's what it's about. Okay, you guys. Take care. Until next time, you guys. You already know. Stay fabulous.